Hello, everybody. Oh, man. I forgot again that I'm supposed to break. Like, when, you know, I switched the audio and then wait a beat and then transfer over. But I, did, I keep not doing it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We're totally prepared, in case anyone was wondering. Completely 100% prepared. Definitely aren't panicking. <sighs> Hope everybody's having a good Sunday, having a good weekend. Um, I need to refresh Twitch bits. And then, there we go. Should be good now. I remember to do that early so we don't have the text sitting there on the screen every time. You know, the more things you add to the stream, the more things can break. That's a life lesson for you all at home. <laughs> In general. <laughs> That's why if you learn to fix things that are really intricate, you'll stay employed. Anyway. So how's everybody doing? How are my players doing? Um, um it's 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 uh it's it's been a week. It's been a week. I'm I'm prepared for a little bit of uh fantasy and mathematics related escapism. I feel like everyone I've talked to, it's been a real week for. Um in general. It's been quite one. It's one of those. Yeah, thanks, February. Oh, yeah. Mm. I've seen some shit this week. I'm just <laughs> looking for a distraction. <laughs> well, everyone's favorite weekly distraction is entire role. Agreed. Ironically, okay. it's the only time I feel like I'm focused. <laughs> All right. Uh, in, in regards to your thanks, February, GIF incoming on Mixer. Oh. Oh shoot, I haven't opened it, sir. I'm bad. Um last time on D D. Yeah, I was getting I was waiting for you guys to get it all out. Get it all out. I didn't want to cut anyone off. So last week. You were already king last week, right? We're past that. That's that's an ancient history at this point. Yeah, king yeah. Edgar. Last week last week started with the celebration of right. King. Right. You guys baited out your assassin bear. Mm-hmm. Uh, killed Demolished him like a well-oiled machine. Almost one shot Agnar and then never hit ever again. Yeah. Which was actually we're a master baiters. Yep. <laughs> that was a master bait right there. Masterful. <laughs> um. With that out of the way, the next thing was you needed to appoint a Jarl of Sudrafen. It was a little bit of politics. In the end, two things of import happened. One. Ilva is now Jarl of Suderhofen. Two. Yofer is getting out of Dodge. This also happened last session. Hjali, Thane Hjali, returned from Yagshir, where his father is the king, and reported that even though Yagshir cannot spare any men at arms, they do have a lot of open, open fields ready for farming, and they are going to accept... Anyone from Suterhofen, which is now burst, literally bursting at the seams with people from all over the country. So, Ilva and Agnar are, are getting ready to ferry settlers to Yagshir. Completely and utterly resettling them. And among that group, Yofer would like to take his 40 Huskarls in bail. Ilva said, fine, I don't want you around here anyway if you're going to be a coward. But you can't take your ship. Which is now my ship. Right. Because I traded her. Ah, Kulu approached Yofer in private and saying, told him that she would like to leave. And we, as in everyone, probably Ah, Kulu included, are not sure if she's being on the level or if she's playing Yofer. Regardless, Yofer informs her that that night at midnight, they are going to steal his ship and he told her to meet them at the pier. She returned to her shop. She encountered two characters, a human and a halfling, who have dragon scales, you're muted, uh, about their face, much like she does. I was just saying I forgot about that, not gonna lie. <laughs> well, it was literally going. like the last The last sentence. thing that happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to open this Ah Kulu.
these two characters are in your shop. A a female halfling and a male human. They both have small horns, scales on their cheeks and and about their forehead, and, and each of them have a large prominent circular scale right on their forehead. What color are these scales? Can I tell? It's kind of Yes. Okay. Uh the male has red scales. And the um the female has white scales. And the male said that uh, the last thing that was said before we ended the session was that he said that they have been looking for you for a long time. Do you need some medicine? My business is not open right now, so I could uh, set up a consultation with my gnome apprentice. The, uh, the woman says, No, you misunderstand us. We're not here about all this. She kind of gestures behind her. Okay, um, I'm a little, what time, what time is it in the day? Evening. I'm a little busy right now. Can you just kind of cut to the, we're here as another sign of the end times and to end the world or because you killed a god or. The woman's eyes grow wide, but the man seemed to have only heard cut to the chase. And was already working yeah. through something in his head. And he goes, we, um, we are like you. Yeah, the thing going on all around. Um, and we are here to take you to the father of our bloodline. I'm really on a crunch. Um, I can't go anywhere right now. Uh, would you be willing to stay? Uh, stay a while? Um, would fa Is father of our bloodline capable of travel or is he elderly? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot going on here and obviously I'm incredibly important and the machinations that work here you do know the end of the world is coming right you've got clued in on the big army headed this way the frost and the snow goblins the man like waves a hand dismissively and says the north is not unique in its problems yeah, but it's just, this is kind of like the final front, like the, the, we die here, it's, or save humanity kind of location. They look at each other, back at you, and the woman says, we don't know anything about that. I mean, we know that the North is having issues, but we are here to take you to the West, where the, uh, the dragon of the four winds resides. Oh, I've heard of you. Um, one second, I need to open one of our setting documents. Would y'all stop it? Uh, boom. We talked about the dragon of the four winds before with something else. I'm trying to remember what. You guys were exploring religion. Yeah. Um, and one of you, I think... Um, honestly, I don't remember the context. Might have Agnar, been, uh, yeah. you, you had heard of it before? I, it wasn't in that room underneath the bridge. It might have. Was it, it was. It was the I two. think it was. Um... 
because uh, we found the tomb of the son of the dragon of the four winds that helped defeat the Etans. Yeah. The. Oh yes, it was one of the one of the uh, the one bodies of the in the tomb. Bodies. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I do have that information. Okay. Um. Dragon of the four winds was buried. <laughs> no. Perhaps you found one of our cousins. A distant cousin. I'm just telling you what it said on the headstone. Um, well, I am telling well, you I that we have come directly not beyond. from his mouth to here to find you. <laughs> Why? Y'all are clearly um, capable. Well, as I say, every land is having its troubles. Okay. And no. he's helpful how? He is bringing all of his bloodline together to save the West. Save the West? They both kind of nod and look at each other and look back at you. The West is like a direction. Um, well... I mean, you're in the north. Is the east, the west. Okay, south. so what about the north? If he's dragging the four winds, shouldn't be his interest to um, save all of it? He says the north is well prepared. <laughs> she has not met any of these people. <laughs> they are not... <laughs> Um, how urgent is this? Well, we've like, come... you haven't actually... What? We've come all this way to get you. I know, I know. Um, but is this a, like, you have to leave right now, or a, maybe in a week you should arrive at this location, meet us... Your reaction here. is very strange. I have something coming up in like a couple of hours. Um, the halfling kind of like holds out a hand in front of her companion and says, I'm sorry. Um, I'm Marta. And this is Sigurbert. Okay, that's helpful. Marta, Sigurbert. Um, don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm not super excited to meet more of like me um it's just that there is stuff going on here that i feel uh morally responsible for mm. and um <laughs> you're not in my head anymore you can't keep <laughs> um aren't they dun 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 <laughs> at least not literally um there's stuff I'm responsible for here. Um, I just don't feel like I can up and vacate premises. Would you be willing to walk with me? I can show you to, I can show you to Modus Bond Castle. We could set you up for a second. We just, ha I have something to deal with like tonight. We look at each other and I suppose, it's just, on my own accounts, Sigurbert says, when I learned that there were others like me, nothing could stop me from joining them. This is, uh, unique. Were you, uh, totally alone? Perhaps betrayed by everyone you knew? Caused harm to the people closest to you and decided to isolate yourself? Well, where I come from. Um, my scales. People assumed I was a hybrid of human and dragonborn. Um, I allowed them to think this so that I could go about your daily life. Yes. And, um, it was isolating. More for my parents than me, but 
then I learned of the uh, the bloodline father, the the dragon of the four winds, the the greatest dragon. When he summoned me, it made sense. But um, if you must do something tonight, Marta and I can come with you. Yes, good. I mean, just try to understand, um, one, the personal responsibility thing. But also, you are two strangers who showed up and said, you are being summoned by this guy. No, he's not really dead. And... Like, there's no, what, for, other than the West is threatened. I've never been out West. Things are threatened here. I don't know why I'm necessary. So, I am very powerful, and I can help you. I just need to handle some things. So if you will follow on, I can introduce you to some of my compatriots. Of course. It's just... Of course, we will go with you. Okay, and I'm gonna head out to Moda's Bond Castle. Gotta and as you, find as you start walking, Agnes. Marta comes up alongside you and she says, "How how are how are you treated here in the north?" Well, I am incredibly powerful. So, so feared, respected. Um, I have a successful business. Uh, I've taken on an apprentice. Um, it was not easy going, obviously. There were a lot of places where I was less understood. Have you heard of the name and empire? Uh, Sigurd is from there. Yes. It's kind of hard well, not to know about it. Yes, well, exactly. So there was a lot of... Uh, there was a name in Dragonborn here... And she froze. Is that just on my end? Uh, mm. Oof. Oh no. Seem to be back. Oh, I think you're back. Okay, cool. You said yeah, name my... Dragonborn. And that was last year. Yeah. Time. Our affiliation was uh, assumed to have been a professional one where we were spies for the name of fire for a little bit. That that uh, relationship Gave me kind of a bad rap just from our friendship. <laughs> he was accused of being a spy. And because we were friends, there was a lot of side eyes about. He wasn't a spy, by the way, but. Things have been up and down, but I am now a vital uh, part of the local government. Friends with the king. So, well, you have you have definitely fared better than most of our kin. I'm yeah, I'm really an entrepreneur, a go-getter. Um, and that's actually where we're headed now to the. Uh, castle to meet up with the king because there's a matter of great importance of national security um that kind of thing do y'all have powers yes okay not like ma magical So where are you from, Marta? I'm I'm from the West. Oh, okay. Well, hometown. Dragon of the Four Winds. When did this guy come about? The Dragon of the Four Winds? I mean, yeah, when did you hear his call? Uh well um my local village was having uh something of a of a bonfire and I was the guest of honor, and um, they were going to burn me alive, mm. and uh, 
Unfortunately, uh, Gift of Honor is you know, a fun way to say that. Obviously, I, I'm more affiliated with Wind Dragons, so that would have been bad. Um, and then the, the father came and saved me. Oh. Congratulations. I'm, that's good. I don't really know how to handle that. Um, and how about you? You're clearly not associated with wind. Uh, no. Um, I am... I am more akin to the flame dragons. Hmm. And, um... My child in the background is screaming like a banshee. <laughs> it's very had distracting. no idea. <laughs> Completely oblivious. Um, now that you mention it, kind of. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's really distracting. I'm just waiting for him to go away. Um, it's not helping. He said, "Well, um, in 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 the name of empire, they revere the golden wyvern. Uh, being a, I have an affinity with dragons. I started looking for a golden wyvern, and instead, I found." The father the dragon of the four winds, who is also gold. And I'm glad I did. It brought clarity. That does um my question. In the name of Empire, don't y'all don't you listen to the Hierophant? Hierophant? Yes. Hierophant? Yes. Hierophant. Yeah. The Hierophant, I'm yes. <laughs> um and she froze. So is that offer? Does he does he uh, communicate with the golden wyvern? How does that structurally? Oh, in the name of empire, the um, we were once many tribes, dragonborn humans, many many different rulers, but it was the one who tamed the golden wyverns. Who brought all the tribes together. And it is thus that we uh, use that as our as our national symbol. All the golden wyverns um, have died, but the stories are there. Okay. I I've never been there myself, but they say that the Grand Palace, every wall, is a a, a mural of a different golden wyvern from history. Do you know much about the religion there? Oh, yeah. Duh. I um I grew up there. Well, you know, there are some people who are like, "Well, I go to church cuz it's the day we go." Well, and then there are some well, people who are In the name of empire, we take our religion very seriously. Yes. Um I just I I have a friend who might be interested in talking to you about it. <laughs> um he also takes it very seriously. He worked very closely with the Hierophant uh in developing your practices, I guess. I don't really understand it myself. I never I understand religion here because I did some like reading on it. I'm not necessarily a practicer. Oh, look, there's a castle. By the way, this is, <laughs> this, this is, um, this is, they're two different districts kind of in this area. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not really used to talking to people. Um, you're going to love my friends, so they'll be way better at this. So you come to the castle gates. 
and some Huskarls are like, um, who are they? Um, some, some weary travelers that I will vouch for from the West. Um, but I need to talk to Agnar about something very important. So we're going to just like go on in. Did you say they're from the West? From the, yeah. Are they from Hart? No. I'm pretty certain that's a no. Um, should be pointing out that this entire time they've been speaking Draconic. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... And, uh, Sigurbert will turn to you and continue to speak Draconic. He's like, um, you only know a handful of Northman phrases? Yeah, okay. Um, they're, they're just asking where you're from. Um, they're from the far west. They're not with the name and empire. It's okay. All right. I'm just saying that because of the scales thing, and I know there's, I know the Legion is being sent. I didn't want anyone to be like, oh, the Legion's here. I, they're a different group, but um, they are. There's this guy's a religion specialist who's here to talk with Bernhard. Um. They traveled together in order to stay safe, but I have business inside, so we are going to go, and I will vouch for them. And if they break anything, I will pay for it, and if they are a danger, I will kill them. So it's fine. <laughs> I say this in Northman, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they don't know. Um, all right, then. Thank you. Um, do you know if Agnar is still in the main kind of, like, Council room? Did you see him leave? Is he here? I've... This is the outer wall. I know, but if he would, if he left the castle, he would pass he's still, the He's wall. still in the castle. Okay, thank you. Good Cur goodness. Currently in the middle of dinner, enjoying a nice uninterrupted <laughs> meal. <Good. laughs> I storm in! It's my turn! Ar Aragorn style? And I'm, no, it's very much the Green Knight the the entrance is more flamboyant than the anyway <laughs> okay yeah I'm gonna go interrupt Agnar's meal okay I can join the meal I'm <laughs> if I sit down too it's not interruption all right so Agnar uh, <laughs> for simplicity's sake let's say you're having a nice dinner with um. Uh, Hakan and Bernhardt, and then suddenly uh, Ahakulu comes in, followed by two people you've never seen before who have small horns and scales all over their face. Hey! Come on in! Uh, gra grab a seat! Uh, more... More... More everything. plates? Yeah, more, more, yeah plates. more everything. Yeah, 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 more everything. Come on, sit down. I brought some tra tra travelers. Um, they're North guys. The Their North Man is not very good. And non-binary pals. Um, but they do speak Draconic Bernhardt. Oh, um, I don't know that at all. I, I know. I thought I... It's a maybe. very, very intricate, beautiful language. Weird thing to say, but okay. Um, Bernhardt Sigebert. Is that how you, you pronounce the name? Sigurbert? Uh, yeah. Um, Sigurbert is from the name and empire and knows some more about their faith. I thought that might be neat for you. Marta's from the West. And then I turn to them and in Draconic be like, I just need to update them on some things really fast. So you might be feel a little left out and I apologize. And I'm going to like sit down. <clears throat> And start kind of breaking into things. So, Agnar, uh, Yofer plans to steal uh, one of your ships tonight at midnight. And I was thinking we could probably lay some sort of trap if you wanted. Uh, I know he's going to use his Huskarls to try to escape that way. Um, 
I have the meeting place. I can mark it on a map if you want to. Um, love to help out. I, I, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even going to begin to ask where, where you came about this. Uh, this this intelligence. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Um, you know how I am about having a good conversation. Right. With people. Right. Yeah, no, that's, uh, no, no one came down with any sort of food poisoning, did they? No. Okay. All right. All right, cool. It's um, amazing how uh, pliable people are with coins. Oh. I mean, I guess, yeah, that would work. All right. Um, yeah, no, let's, uh, when, when is this happening and what ship is he planning on stealing? Um, Jagan, what ship was he planning on stealing? I know he told me, but it's been a week. I believe it's his own, right? No, he wanted the nicer one. No, he's gonna steal his his ship. The oh, his the ship. Skip. Okay, yeah. So uh, he's just stealing his own ship, which I'll have claimed. Oh no, no, that's uh, no, that's that's my ship now. Yeah, I know. You see, yeah, we trade, we, we trade, we traded, we traded um, for him. I thought that that's why I, I thought I would alert you. Instead yeah, of Alva. No, thank you. That's, that's my ship. They're planning to meet around there at midnight. I, I did consider contributing some food poison, but I thought maybe instead I would talk to people because it seemed like that would be what you wanted me to do. Yeah, no, that's, thank you, that's, uh, th yeah, well, let's, I mean, I mean, just for, for future considerations, like, like, both is an option? Like, the talking and, like, and, like, food poisoning? Okay, I, look, I thought everyone's always meant to don't kill people immediately. Report, don't feed them special. Well, no, but but in this, in, this per, in this particular case, it's not immediately. Like we know Yolfer, we know he's a raging d bag. So I mean, and we and we know his his husk girls are are. I mean, they're not necessarily raging d bags, but they're definitely mildly irritated d bags. I mean, they did their job well. Let's be. But granted, they do follow you over. So. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 that's that's uh, a that's, that's telling. Yeah, yeah, like attracts like and all that. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for the consideration. Thank you for bringing that. Uh, we definitely need to absolutely stop that from happening. Um, y'all feel free to eat. Um, I'm gonna step away for a minute. And go see what I can organize in the way of. I, I don't even need to organize. I'm king now. I've got my entire like. I've got my own king scarls. Yeah, no, we're we're definitely doing this. So eat up, enjoy full bellies, full hearts. He says y'all can happy friends really heal uh, and recover from your troubles here. Yeah, cause cause tonight we're kicking ass. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy. Marta turns to Agnar and goes, "Thank you, in Northman." That was a really good pronunciation, Marta. You are very welcome. Um, more more ale for her, <laughs> <laughs> or mead. You know, one one of each. Let's do one of each. Let's let's uh let her let her enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Double fist that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go organize that. Y'all, you said you had some talking to do. That, that do you need? Do you need me for that? For well, they have they have a mission there on here, but I asked them to wait because we had things to deal with, and then okay. we would be able to address their concerns. Yeah, cool. That's. Uh, I mean, anything we can. Do uh, 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 Bjorn Mars is uh, open to all friends and friends of friends and 
friends and and and, and acquaintances who you just met of friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna. I'll be back in a little bit. We can discuss that. Y'all talk what you need to talk. I gotta go organize this. Okay. And Agnar's gonna go round up the the posse. Okay. We'll get it back to that, Agnar. For details. But I assume we wanted to continue the uh, the dinner scene here. So, Bernhardt helped build your god, Bernie. Uh, that's a very complicated way, I guess. Did I talk? I mean, I did, but oh, and I'm saying this all in Draconic. Um, so, what is it you know of this uh, here of fountains or religions that you follow? Uh, well, um, I know that. Um... The Hierophant, the religion um, of the uh, of the soul divine, was um, very small until about forty years ago. Okay, okay. So that's when me and the Hierophant met. Okay. And the, the Hierophant um, revived the religion, and uh, and within ten years. Uh, it became the religion of the empire. Oh, oh, he moves fast. Um, all right. Well, obviously, um, is, is it um, is it something that you will uh, worship? Is it what well, order? So, well, well, um, I still believe, but my priorities have changed. Uh, um, okay, well, order is a thing. Uh, it is very important that we understand and respect. So, I mean, I can't force you to believe in it. I mean, it's everyone can believe what they want. Um, but and then in Northmen, I'm going to... Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to turn to Akulu and say, uh, what is it that you wanted me to tell this person? I'm very confused as to what's going on. Oh, I just... They're here for something unrelated to this. I was I just thought it might be... informative for you to have a discussion on what they worship there. I know you... Have you been? I didn't think you'd been to the name and empire. I thought maybe you might, no. might want more information on, like... No, I've been... Uh... I did oh. not know about it until uh, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah. So... That's why I thought. Um, I just thought you might want more information, and it might be a interesting conversation for our guest here while they wait for us to handle the other situation. with. But what are they here for? So you remember um, that... You remember where we fought the big wolf thing because of the guy we interrogated and how there were the graves? Yeah. And one of them said it was for the dragon of the four winds? I don't know if... I mean, I'm just assuming al Kulu... Yeah, it, it was the son of the dragon of the four winds. Oh, the son of the dragon of the four winds, yeah. Uh, yes? Like, you can clearly tell by Akon's face that he literally took that information and essentially threw it away, so he's saying yes to not lose. Yeah. Um, so they are also children of the Dragon of the Four Winds, as apparently so am I. How old are you? Oh, no, I don't think... What? I don't think it's literal. 
Oh, okay. More like a spiritual kind of thing. Yeah, like an ancestor of the explanation for the this. Okay. But uh, what? Go ahead. No, go well, ahead. Well, what? What are they doing here? That still does not answer what they're. No, I know that was the lead in. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, the dragon of the four winds has been collecting his ancestors, or not his ancestors, his predecessors, his children, descendants. descendants thank you. That's the word. Um, his descendants. I'm not sure what for actually. They haven't explained that much. Um, and therefore, they have heard about me and have been looking for me because I am incredibly skilled. And they, he needs help with something. But I told them they would have to wait. Oh, very well then. Yes. So will will they be staying around until you're ready to leave? We haven't talked about I've there's there no decision has been made. They just showed up in town and I thought we should be good hosts and offer them a meal and a place to recover while we handle the whole Yofer thing. And then after the more like pressing issue of that, there could be a discussion about the end frost and the coming of the end of the world. And apparently similar threats are being made against other parts of the planet. So it's just a question of, um, it's kind of like if we had gone to you, Hakon, while your people were already dealing with a threat of similar level as the Enfrost, but a different one, and asked you to leave, but y'all had your own threat to deal with. I see. So we're welcoming them? We're For listening. Now. We're listening to them. Yes, but I believe you said we need to provide them with a warm welcome in the meantime. And he turns to the two of them and says in common, welcome. And he extends like a big Goliath. So, so like in Northman? And they're like, yeah. And they, um, Sigurd takes the hand and shakes it. And that's a war we warm welcome for Hakon. Just welcome that, to the shake yeah. of hand. <laughs> Hello. He's not in horse stance, so we know he means it. Right, yeah. <laughs> He's not trying to threaten them. Um, this is Hakon. He's and the leader of the Great Mocked. Horse stance for enemies. Yeah. Uh, he's the leader of the Great Mock, which is um, the feel folk, kind of. They, too, were a great many tribes, but they've been brought together by um, Hakon and his very large mall. It was previously a magical tower. There's a lot going on there. Uh, actually, that's kind of hard to explain. It's, it's, you're in the company of legends, is what I'm saying. I see. Well, um... Sounds like they uh, they have everything in hand. Well, I'm one of the I'm one of the legends. So it's, um, so is there something I don't understand? Um, I don't know. I just talk it out. Um, well, no, it's you say that they say that you are one of these daughters of the uh, dragon of the four winds, but you're not horny like that. Yeah, that's true. Um, the configuration of my scales is really different, actually. I don't have the, like, one big one right here, but... Um, uh, I think it's, and, you also have scales, so that makes sense, but you have no... Yeah, I don't have any horns. Um, Oh, you weren't there when we met the cave dragon. Um, my scales are the same color, kind of, really, as that. So my guess is I'm more along that line. Their affinities, um, 
this one, Marta is uh, has an affinity for wind dragons, kind of like Raylath. You met him briefly. He has the same color and uses a breath weapon. Um, I sometimes borrow that. And then this gentleman has an affinity for fire and the more fiery dragon types. So I guess the His skills isn't great. What? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is Jake and the. Hello. Hello? Uh, yeah, oh. I hear you. Okay. Now I don't. When... You'll get back to us. <laughs> Maybe if you could. PR, are you there? Welcome to technical difficulties. We may have some dire roll. We can get a week before now. PR, are you there? Are you here with us? Hold like a seance. We gotta get on our Ouija board. Mm hmm. That's what I think every time we're like, are you there? Can you hear me? All right, uh, while we wait for Pierre to get back. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have anything uh, else to do here? During this dinner, not really, especially since they don't speak common all that much. You guys want to put a pin in that and we can talk about what Agnar is up to? Yeah, um, I think I don't really know what to do with these new arrivals because they're asking me to leave, which technically I was considering like an hour ago. And, and then Akulu kind of like... I'm going to I'm going to get in some close third person here. But Akulu very much had like this mindset of like I could leave. I'm just going to talk to him about it and then like oh shit, midnight like I have to decide immediately kind of realization and then slowly like oh this feels bad. I, I can't do this. Um and then kind of walked into dinner and acted real chill about admitting it to Agnar. Right. Um, so it's very much, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet situation. And now I don't, now suddenly there are people who are like, anyway, here's a convenient out. And she's like, but I just got over the convenient <laughs> out. <laughs> like, like I just, I, I just convinced myself not to take that. And now here it is again. I <laughs> Right. So, okay. um, well, that's Agnar. where she's at. What is your plan, exactly? So, uh, obviously, I'm going to gather up uh, a number of Huskarls. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A, a number. A, a definite, determined number that I have in mind. How many Huskarls does Yofer have? We would know that. 40, right? 40, correct. So, so yeah, than, greater than a, a number that I have in mind that is definitely greater than 40. Um, and uh, and then obviously kind of fill in uh, Alva briefly on what's going on with a hey, don't stress this, uh, we got this. Um, besides, that's not really your boat anymore, that's my boat, okay. Um, so are you just gonna like lay an ambush, and when him and his huskal show up, you just waylay the crap out of him? Yeah, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna try and figure out how to bait him out because we clearly are very good at baiting things out. That's something that we are we are masters uh, of top top notch at um, um, experts. One would say. Oh, I hope uh. this doesn't become the title of the video. <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> I make the titles. You make the titles. So yeah, if that happens, that's that's totally new guy's fault. Yeah. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um. And then, uh, I, I I mean, it's it's one of the, you know you don't have to be super worried about it, but. I don't want to tell you how to run your city if you feel like you need uh, a a presence there to kind of put your foot down on as well. Okay, by all but the, means. the plan is just to just take him and his house girls out. I mean, sorry, I was going to say ideally we would keep some of the house girls. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of the same way, kind of the same way we dealt with uh, the king. In that eyes on the prize were taken down Yolfer. And once that's done, just be like, all right, the rest of you don't have to die. Okay. Um, and then additionally, as part of this, I want to send a small contingent of Huskarls to the ship right now. Okay. And and get it out in the water away from where he can get his hands on it. Um, oh, I was and, thinking hiding in the ship. <laughs> that sounds like a much better idea. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm not there, but I just No, but 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 somewhere in the back of Agnar's head there is a there is a voice. A voice of reason. A voice of in intelligence. This party? No. <laughs> If anyone is the voice of reason uh, that isn't named Bernhardt, it's ah, cool. <laughs> Interesting qualifier, um, but okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if, if you got a fight, I'm the voice of reason too, so you could <laughs> argue. I that. just I surround myself with reasonable, intelligent, not emotionally reactive people. Yeah, that's, I'll that's, fight that's, you on this. You'll have to introduce me to them sometime. Uh, okay. Uh, honestly, unless you, unless you Agnar or you Vegas are interested in playing that out, you can probably just like, do, we could just have that happen off screen. Unless you really want to give Yofer like a final, you know, stand as it were. You have enough resources and men. To just be like, all right, uh, at midnight, kill everyone, and then that's that'll happen. So my question is, from a, I mean, fr from a from a player point of view, I am totally looking forward to getting into that fight and rolling some dice. Okay, you can do that. You're just looking forward <clears throat> to hitting Yelfer because you're so sick of him. <laughs> yeah, like, like every, and by every I mean both, every character I've played in this campaign fucking hates that guy. Alright, well, the battle map is still not loading properly, and I don't, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, we can, we can have that happen. If it's easier to not, then we no, can no, have it happen off screen. It'll work. Just, you know, when we bring up the map, I'll be like, so, audience, for some reason, Roll20 is being a uppity bitch, and the map is all pixelated. But the tokens look gorgeous. The tokens look great. And the map, if it wasn't pixelated, is also gorgeous. And the pier looks good. The pier it's looks good. Just everything behind the pier. We yeah. could always swim under the pier. Although, to be honest, if it's, if it's just Agnar versus... Yofer, we don't even need a battle map. I mean, Yofer, yeah, Agnar would like that, but but Yofer has been a thorn in the side of everyone, and Agnar doesn't want to necessarily deprive everyone of the opportunity to just fuck his entire world up. So you want to get the whole party involved? Oh, I mean, if this if that's a... if that's where we're going with it, by all means. Like, this is not going to be a, let's make the square. Because, quite frankly, Agnar's tired of making the square. No. Tired of seeing I think, the square. I think I would be okay with... Fucking kill him. I think I'd be okay with Agnar 
versus Yofer as far as like the Husk girls are fighting the Husk girls and Agnar finds Yofer and you're like, like yeah, I points to your sword at him like come here, I'm here to kill you. But uh, but cowards don't get the square. Yeah, like just right then so, and there, yeah. uh, finding him in the heat of the f- battle and just having those two on initiative would be fine by me also. Uh, especially since PR sat back in call. Yeah, well, I mean, we would be doing some serious, like, timey wimey timey wibbly wobbly stuff if we had we skip to tonight, have them fight, and then skip back to the dinner. But that yeah, might be the exactly. way it goes. Because P- is PR restarting his computer? I don't know. He didn't. He wasn't able to say anything in Discord, which makes me think he um, he just kind of lost all ability to do things and had to restart. Okay. Well, this isn't ideal. You're just kind of jumping around haphazardly. But we have to work with what we have, right? So... Yep. I'm trying to get myself back in frame here. Hey, oh, there, yeah, you, there it is. You got it. There it is. And Hakan yeah. needs to move to his his uh, his right. And if I... if I, There we go. Got yep. it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen. We, we did got it. it. <laughs> this is really awkward. Oh, Probably actually, that. I might... I might be able to help a little bit out on my end. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was like, man, you look really out of focus. And when all five cameras are up, you're my biggest camera, so I have to stare at your out of focus face the most. It was starting to hurt my eyes. But now that you've zoomed back out. I love out, you too. I love you too. Yeah. You were literally an eyesore. All right, so let me kind of set the stage here. Okay. But once Thanks. I do, we're committed. It is... What day is it? It's the I night of the 25th, us. or the 20, 25th end, as I wrote in the notes, because I forgot to read it to it. 25th end. 25th end. Um, and um, it is a full moon. Or just about full moon? Probably about, yeah, it's probably a, a full moon. But the second moon doesn't show up till tomorrow night. Kind of peeks out from behind. And we see a very quiet pier. And we hear the gentle rocking of a Snekia longship. The Svart skip. And the camera kind of comes up over the rim of the ship to see maybe a dozen of Agnar's Huskarls lying in wait inside the longship. Armored, weapons drawn, sitting quietly. And then we see approaching from the streets, taking all precautions to be silent and unseen, a herd of Huskarls. These Huskarls are of Yofer's brigand brand, and... They are approaching the ship, and you can hear them go like, Hurry, come on! There's already some crates and barrels positioned on the pier. And so the, the about ten of his husk girls take up position at the end of the pier. And then another ten start marching across the pier. And before they get the chance to peer into the ship, Agnar's husk girls leap into action. And there's immediately... A handful, maybe three or four of of Yofer's Huskars are cut down in a surprise strike before weapons are drawn and the this the relative quiet of this night is shattered by the sounds of panic cry and um a brief trumpet blast, a horn blast from the ship, alerting Agnar and the rest of his men to spring the trap. We then do a hard cut to Yofer, who draws his daggers. And spins around as all the Huskarls around him are beset on all sides by heavily armored uh, King's Huskarls. He manages to leap over one of his men, push, push, aside, push aside, that was hard to say, the shield of one of, uh, one of the King's guards and drives his dagger through the guy's throat, killing him. And then he has to deflect the strike of a wayward sword coming from him on his right, and he kind of slips behind enemy lines. And he, 
he readies himself to attack one of the Huskarals at the rear, and he brings up his dagger forward, but it's batted away by a familiar engraved sword. And he turns, and the camera whips with him, and we see Agnar standing there, stoic fury resting on his face. He raises his spellguard shield, locks it in place, and twirls his brother's sword and brings it behind the shield, resting. And uh, Yofer looks at him, and he can't hide the panic in his eyes. But ever defiant, he spits on the ground, twirls his dagger, and gets into position. Roll initiative. I'll add you in. Just, just give us your initiative. I know how to type this. We, we all believe you. No one is doubting you out loud. There we go. Perfectly average. 11. Fortunately, because we haven't been doing anything, I... Oh. Oh, well. Yofer's gonna go first. And here's where Agnar dies. That would be intense. Now, unfortunately, oh, there's only the two of you, so we think this right there, which is perfect. How's that look? We got the turn order, we got Agnar's stat screen up. All right, Yofer is going to lead off with a flurry of knife attack, of, of dagger attack. He attacks three times with his daggers, and he has a plus five to hit. Your AC okay. is. Uh, I want to say it's 20, 20. Okay. So the first one uh, cuts underneath your sword and scrapes across your chainmail ineffectively. And then another strike whips by and you deflect it quickly with your shield. And then finally the last strike finds purchase right in your uh -huh. thigh. It just brings it underneath everything, stabs you in the thigh, and uh, it's going to hurt. So I, I, I can imagine. I mean, it, it is daggers, so it's not going to be a whole lot of piercing damage. However, his yeah, hands but... are poisoned, so you mm -hmm. take 10 piercing damage, a.k.a. you know, 7. seven uh, which is perfect, because he has a plus 3, so if he normally hits, I'll just roll a d4, and that's the effective damage. Okay. Uh, if he hits normally. And then you need to give me a con save, because he does have poisoned blades. He don't pay fair. Uh, that is a 24. It's a right, nat so you're, 20. you're going to take half. So you are going to take 8 poison damage. Okay. Puts me at 42. Compared to... Oh, actually, what? I have this token. Er... And it's your turn. All right, so uh, not even not even gonna get witty and 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 do combat banter. Um, just gonna straight bonus action cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay, Ace now twenty two, and then. Yes. What armor are you wearing that you have 18, 19, you have 20 AC? So I've got splint mail, which is a 17. Okay. I've got ah, the... your fighting style. The, yep, my defensive okay. fighting style. That's all I need. Thank shield. you. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, he was so, doubting your mats. That's why he's telling you. No, he... I, I, well, he, I specifically said no plate in the north. So I just right. wanted to see where the math came from. But I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... Well, and clearly by his description earlier, he remembered me being in chainmail, and no. Yes. Um, so, and then just a straight two attacks with uh, my brother's sword. So the first swing is a 25 to hit. Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. For 12 slashing. And then the second attack 
is a 24 to hit for another 12 slashing, and we're going to drop a first level smite on that. So an additional 2d8, an additional 10 radiant damage. Okay, he is wounded. And done. Okay. He needs a 17 or up to hit your ass. Mm -hmm. That ain't it. Nope. No, he that's swings not. wildly at the air. Uh, oh, and then with his other go. hand, he comes in and uh, gets between the, the plates of your split mail. It stabs you for... This is the effective damage. For three effective, and then give me a con okay. save. Nine. Con save is... Ooh, nine. And you can't affect that in any way? Okay. Uh, no. You're going to take the full ten poison damage. Okay, so that's another ten, so we're at twenty-nine. And I need to make it. Oh, I need to make a concentration check. Yep. That's okay, a that one you nailed. On All right, and then yep. his, for his final attack, um, that side of his body is feeling a little numb from the from the slashing, so he just kind of flim, flimsily w flails and does not find any kind of purchase. And Poor guy. I forgot to move the turn order. In fact, we don't need it. Just two of them. Yeah. Um, and then let me double check something. Oh, that is concentration, so I don't want to. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. I mean, he's got like a, he's got a 15% chance to hit you. I wouldn't be too concerned. I was just going to try and get this over with quick, but. I mean, you Not took out half that. his hit points on your first turn. I think you'll be all right. All right. Uh, first swing is a 27 to hit for 13 slashing. And, I mean, why not? Let's throw another first level Okay. For another 10 radiant. All right, he's badly wounded. And second attack is a 17 to hit. Mm-hmm. And for shits and giggles, because there's no four times I can do this for a round, we're gonna throw we're gonna throw a second level smite on it. Okay. That's an addition oh gross. An additional eleven radiant. Okay. He's at negative twelve. Oh, okay. Please tell me how you want to kill him. Um I And then you immediately cut out for me. I, I can't hear. I, I I didn't I didn't say anything. Oh, like you did nothing but a chicken wing. Um, I mean, just just nothing super fancy. Just a like the the first slash goes in, and then the second one is he Agnar faints a slash like forward, and then then faints with the shield, and when he catches his attention with the shield, just right through like sternum area just right mm. into his chest and there's a flash of holy energy that just kind of sears his flesh and he just kind of crumples dead mm -hmm. and i'll kind of push him off my blade with the shield and then slam the the hilt of the blade into the shield a couple of times all right, that's enough. Everyone, drop your god's damned weapons. Full persuasion. I will do that. That is the thing that I will do. Right now. I. Why am I not proficient in this? Uh, that's a. <laughs> that's a four. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, any, any. Potential goodwill that you could have offered these men is not enough uh, guarantee for them to lay down their arms, and it is it is a slaughter. You you, know, you have to finish them man to man. All right. Uh, only the last handful of his warriors surrender, simply out of a hope for self preservation. But it gets down. Mm -hmm. to, uh, in fact, let's 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 roll a die. One of them. A single right. guy is uh, is surrenders. Was it the guy at the door? Yes. <laughs> oh, yay. Everyone else has to be put down. Uh, a handful of your Huskarls were killed as well. Probably. We named him Bragi. Uh, let's, let's see how many of your Huskarls were killed. 
Ouch. You lost 24 men. Yeah. Well, I mean, we knew we knew Yulfur and his men were capable fighters. Very capable combatants. Um, but you can't you can't there there is there is no now, I, I I will say that they, that, that they may not be like game. dead. That's that's casualties. So that's either dead or wounded. Yeah. Right. Um Let's get the wounded in, I guess. Alright, uh, have you heard anything yeah. from PR? No. Not that I've seen, no. Okay. Well. I think the only thing for it is to just press on and hope he uh, gets back and we can go back to that scene. Uh, unfortunately, our cameras are all kinds of fucked up. So I'm going to leave it on a stat screen just so the audience has something to look at other than the, the obscure positions our, our faces Yeah, we're take. all like, ugh. <laughs> um, it, honestly, it's straining my neck, so you'll just get to see my mic and my uh, Italian hand movements. Um, <laughs> Ah, Kulu, after, after Bernhardt and Hakan dis have talked with your new acquaintances, it, you, eventually you're going to have to, you know, address them once more. Yeah, I know. So after dinner, you all head outside, so you're in the open courtyard of the castle, and they, they look at you expectantly, and Marta says, we, um, we don't want to diminish the 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 plight that the north is facing but we um we of the of the bloodline there is only ever one of each dragon blood in the world at one time and the the dragon our ancestor he needs all seven of us i just you haven't given me anything other than kind of like yeah everyone's dealing with shit um I need more than that. Well, let me let me try What's to What's actually happening? Yeah. Yes. Well, there was an ancient agreement. And it required a cycle of sacrifice and that cycle was broken earlier this year okay and because the cycle was broken our world the mortal coil um the, the doors to the other worlds were closed but now most of them are open again which is why the fey have well they're are doing what they're doing yeah and in the uh, in the east there are all manner of Bizarre monsters from afar. And uh, in, in the south, they are dealing with their own unique threats. But in the west, we are under threat from a growing army of the genie. And 
the solution is to get the band back together or together in the first place. To handle the genie or to handle kind of the whole Well, um, one problem at a time. Yeah, yes, we, um, you see, uh, those of our bloodline are the strongest mortals of magic of any generation. Yeah, that tracks. And with all seven of us in one place, fighting beside our... The father? Yes, the father. Mm -hmm we can drive back the genie. And, if there's time, we can redirect our efforts elsewhere. Just seems like uh, the, the genie are a symptom in the same way the kind of Snow goblins are a symptom. Well, yes. Um, like I said, there's problems everywhere, except in one place. And except in one pl in one place. What place? The name and empire. Hmm. There is no invader there. It is because these um, these breaches into our world, they are the result of chaos. And the one place dominated by order is the Empire. It is like your um, gnome, small gnome friend? Yeah, Bernhardt, yes. He went into great detail over dinner. Yes, we yes. We had an incredible no. back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that. Um, and he is working to instill a sense of order here. Uh, trust me, he does not stop talking about it. It just... If it were if it were the case that it was necessary for me to return because we could just kind of pull this out by the roots, that would be great, wonderful, on board. Um, but if it's the case that I am going to have to leave here where I have established relationships um lucrative business opportunities um uh, kind of a stable life and protect this versus <laughs> don't frown at that jacob <laughs> versus uh protect strangers who claim to be relatives in a distant land under kind of a pseudo religion. A family. I mean, but I have a fam I've got three brothers and my dad and my stepmom, like at back we don't I'm not I haven't been there in a while. But I do have literal family that raised me. You're like I don't no, you. I think you know us and we know you more than you're willing to admit. We have all of us been through the same changes. There are no one, there are only seven of us in the whole world that have a shared narrative. And you have six of y'all and the father to defend. Uh, well, again. we have five. Okay, well, you're missing one. Yes. Uh. The East right now is a, a land of chaos, and searching for our, uh, the other is 
quite difficult, but... I'm... Maybe it's important that the North have that one of the most powerful mortal magicians available. I mean, you, you, they are capable. I, my friends are capable, but you see how much they need organizing, right? Well, we've only been here a short time. Yeah. I just, I wish there were some words I could say to persuade you, but you seem very resistant to coming with us, which is unexpected and disappointing, but I can't force you to come. I already had to make this decision. Um, and unfortunately, I'm seeing it through. Very well. Well, hopefully you can save the North in time to come help us save the West. Oh, I, I definitely head over there. We're, Ideally, we'll handle this in like a day. Very well. We shall join our brothers and sisters in, in the east and find our sixth. And maybe the six of us can, can overcome. I, uh, good luck. To you as well. Thanks. Um, Marta kind of comes up to you and wraps her, her arms around your waist and gives you a hug. Ooh, a hugger. <laughs> 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 we do high fives, but... Oh, now we do high fives. Now high fives. <laughs> All right. I'm getting hugged, but I don't want to. <laughs> Marta's like, oh, sorry. No, he's, I understand it's kind of an emotionally intense moment. Um, I'll, I'll come as soon as I have things wrapped up here, but I've put a lot into this basket. They nod and they're like, we will see you when you join us. Yes. Yes. And then I'm going to do <laughs> And they, they like kind of solemnly, you know, head out and Start heading out. Mm -hmm. They're headed back to... Well, they're headed to the east. Yeah. I'm to be home. fair... Oh, go ahead. No, I said I'm going home. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> um, to be fair, though, the way that they described the original situation, Jaken... I thought like they had an army, like hundreds and hundreds. And then when they said, oh, it's surprising that one of us would say no. And then it's like, we're it's like, oh, okay. Well, that changed the whole perspective on the whole situation. Okay. Now I understand why it's surprising that one. Can be, yeah. Yeah. Can say <laughs> yeah. There's only seven of them. Yeah. So apparently that uh, great ancestor of theirs was not very, um, Either attractive or... Uh... Prolific? Yeah, prolific. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could go into the details, but, you know... Yeah. I could exposit on you. Just exposit all over new guy. But I think we'll just leave it as is. <laughs> all right. All right. So what's next? We uh, let's see. We we're gonna try and deal with this as quickly as possible because apparently shit's going on in the west. Yeah. That, that needs uh, Kulu. So I mean, let's deal with let's deal with our light work here pretty quickly. Um, you know the. If we could just assassinate. Scotty. Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's been a while since it, yeah. we actually directly spoken about her. Like, right. We're all so distracted. 
But if we well, I mean, there's so many coffee. dinner interruptions at some point. Like, yeah. There's always a side quest <laughs> popping up. It's yeah. ridiculous. Well, I do have one more thing we can do while we wait for okay. Bernhardt. So, Akula, you go home, and you snuggle up in bed, and you fall asleep. Yeah, thank goodness. And you have a very, very vivid dream. You're standing on a on a cliffside, overlooking just open sky. The clouds are whipping past at an alarming rate. You notice they seem to be going away from you in four directions. And then from beneath, you hear the beat of wings, and a, this magnificent creature rises from the cliff before you. Um, for a dragon, this, this one seems small. Very unique. He has golden scales and two pairs of wings. And uh, his horns rise up from the top of his head and curl inward to form almost a, a circle over his head. Mm -hmm. And uh, floating within that circle is a very large golden dais. All kinds of arcane uh, inscriptions all about it. And um, when he when he speaks to you, his mouth doesn't move. It's just kind of like in your mind. And he says, Daughter of my blood, it saddens me that you will not join my cause, but I shall not abandon you. If you wish... I can unlock the potential of your blood. What does that mean? You shall bear the mark of my lineage, as your siblings the... do. Yes, yes, the he points. <laughs> Yeah. It's real subtle. And? And your powers shall grow. Let me check something. You should say grow as big <laughs> yes. as Hakon's head. She <laughs> would be sold instantly. Uh, no, yeah, yes. Not no, yes. There may be a price at a later time. Do you still wish to take that chance? I did not hear you. I said there may be a price at a later time. Yeah, no, it would be very helpful. Okay, yeah. Obviously, nothing's really truly free. Um, and I, I will join up with the family, just not immediately. Very well. He reaches out and his wings beat as he closes the distance between the two of you, and he touches your forehead. And then you kind of wake up, mo just momentarily, and you feel this burning hot, like someone placed a coal on your forehead. And you reach up and you touch it, and you can feel this, this circular um, scale just p push itself through your skin. And uh, you gain the blessing of of the four winds and what it does in order to expedite it is it is basically the elemental adept feat but the uh, the the chosen damage type for you is poison yeah and you're immune to poison damage now okay
So it's elemental adept with poison, which isn't one of the choices, but you know, for you it is. Yeah. And you're immune to poison. Okay. No resistance to chosen type. And whenever you roll damage for a spell that deals the damage of the type, treat any rolled once as a two. Cool. A little That's... complicated, but it's good. No, that, that works. Especially with the next spell I plan to take. Blight! <laughs> <laughs> no, cloud kill! Ah, nice. For a, for a battlefield, right? Just... Blah. It'll be very cool. One day. Very cool. <laughs> Is there... Getting into the the meat and potatoes of D anD D, and I'm not so I, I'm not so sure with with sorcerers because I've played one up to third level, I think. Mm. Um, is there a way that you can substitute out an elemental type of the spell for another one of your choice? Yes, asterisk. In the yeah. new Unearthed on Kana, they have a meta magic that lets you do that. Oh. But it is playtest material, so... Yeah. Got it. Yeah. It needs some balancing and testing. We talked about it on our first ever Dire Roundtable. Thanks for remembering. Um, so that's not the newest on Earth Arcana, then? No. No, it's not super, super recent. It's okay. the class variants. Yeah. What should I... Should I just write that down as, like... I'm gonna put it on my sheet in like feet. Sure. Right. Yeah. But, it is. It um, is mechanically. It's called a blessing. It's, okay. It's, it's a, yeah. I'm gonna mute myself while I type this. Actually. Cool. 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 All right. Uh, Hakan Agnar, you guys want to do anything? Um. I mean, I'm uh, at this point. Agnar's coming back to Modi's bond and. Feeling not so great about having to kill so many men, and and what, what was the guy's name? Bragi. Bragi is gonna the 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 one guy that survived the guy. The door the guard. Door. Oh yeah. Yeah. He named yeah. Bragi. Um, Bragi. He's he'll 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 be he'll be tossed in uh, in a cell, but with a with a very uh, clear command of make sure he's fed well taken care of we're not it's not like we're barbarians or anything um and uh and then kind of just fill in everyone on what happened then go to bed no he's not going to go to bed hakan is there anything you'd like to do well uh yeah in theory uh so last time Akon went back to the camps there was a food problem he sent hunters out expecting obviously to probably have some problem so if we need to feel time that would be something that Akon would go check on see uh if there's still a food problem or if the hunters have somehow managed to avoid trouble like what's up with that would be one thing that Akon would If Jaken also wants, uh, I mean, just general state of affairs, if we want to put a situation in to fill the time, that's also good to go. I don't, I, I don't think filling the time with just, like, administrative talk would be interesting. No, uh, I agree. But other yeah. than that, not really. Okay. So Agnar's not going to bed. Okay, what is Agnar doing? Agnar is... Uh, is there... Is there some sort of like chapel or like like altar room in Modi's bond? No. No. Okay. Yeah, um Northmen aren't big on like they don't have chapels in the castle like like a like a western um, okay. medieval castle. They have like dedicated shrines that belong to the priesthoods, you know. Right. Um where is the nearest shrine then? Uh, there's probably one in the Arkwood Borough. Um, he's gonna make for the shrine, uh, and very expressly tell all the guards to fuck right off. He's going alone. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and uh, 
essentially at this point, like he he um he's very torn, very, very kind of confused on things that are going on. Like he he knows he knows he did the right thing, TM, because uh Calder made it very clear that um that that the king was not uh was not fit um and now he's 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 confident in his his direction on leading uh Bjorn Mars against the against Scothi and the troll and the frost giants god's damned snow goblins um but like People are like 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 rats from a sinking ship. Like Yulfur is like, nope, fuck this. Um, he's he's heard some rumblings among other people. Like we're not gonna make it through this, and like he doesn't he doesn't know where he's going. And now he's he's killing these people. Like yes, that was that was necessary, but was it necessary? Sort of thing. Like there's changes he has in mind, but now he's starting to question, especially since like. Especially since when we came back and we interrogated that one guy, Bernhardt, who has always been like his voice of his voice of, of of patience and reason and let's find the way through this that doesn't involve violence. And all of a sudden Bernhardt is like, Oh yeah, we're just gonna stick crossbow bolts under his fingernails and, and we're gonna let Hakan break his hand and Aku is blighting him and Agnar's like, Yes, yes, wait, wait, no, 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 this isn't the way we're supposed to be going. So like you're concerned you're gaining too many dark side points. Got it. Yes. We're the good guys. Yeah. That's that's the question that, that Agnar has. Alright, so am you, I, you clear the shine out guy? shrine out and you're alone. And um you are uh you're standing beside one of the fires, basically praying. And you hear the doors blast open with a gust of wind. But for some reason, you're paralyzed. You can't seem to move. And you hear what sounds like hooves walking across the dirt and up onto the wooden platform that you're on. Mm-hmm. The clop, 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 clop. But then as the sound comes around, it is a, a figure of a man. A man you recognize as the intimidating mass of... That is the 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 embodiment of Calder. And as he comes, he's he's walking on his staff, and you notice that he does not have his shield with him. But he comes to the other side of the fire from you, stops, and then turns to face you. And despite the, the roaring fire before you, the snow on his beard does not melt. You said I had your shield, and I'll kind of pick that up and be like, "It, I, I put the, put the the, the elk skull on it for you." He just nods. <sighs> he takes his his staff that has the um, the wolf skull dangling on its top, not really secure, just kind of resting on it. He takes it into both hands, plants it down, and he kind of rests on it. And he says, You called and I am here. Honestly, I wasn't expecting you to show up. (sighs) What's going on, man? Like, what's... I get, I get it. The king had to go. Um, I don't know necessarily that I'm the right guy to take his place, but you didn't step in and say no when that was what was happening. Um, and I know we got to do what we got to do to 
to protect protect our people. But honestly, I don't I don't think the way our people have been going is the right way. And I don't want to piss you off in trying to change that. I don't I don't even know if that's your way. Like nobody does. Like you you've been silent for forever and then all of a sudden it's it's you and me and everyone else be damned. I just I need some sort of guidance here. I don't know. Did you pick the right guy? Agnar. Millennia ago. Wars were fought like the one you are fighting constantly. And the only thing that protected the people of this world were the gods. But the gods... Never sided with man. Man was a creation of this world, all on its own. Birthed by no god, not by design. Born of nature and happenstance. And it was the humans, during this time of constant war, that put a stop to it all. They made the gods submit. And when the new gods were born, we thought it was time for the humans to once again defy the invaders. That is why I chose the North. You ask if you're the right person. I think your actions speak for themselves. You're worried about losing your soul, but there's only two outcomes that you should be worried about. Either the Ice Queen wins, or you do. And I cannot foresee which will come to pass. But I know that I have given you power, and you have wielded it to victory thus far. You've surrounded yourselves with capable allies. Are you doing the right thing? Sometimes. Sometimes not. But you're only mortal. Will you win? I think it's up to you. That was a really, really eloquent, well said non answer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when you talk to a god, that is the way. I, I, I can see why, why we defied you guys. <laughs> I mean, no offense, but like, 
Oh, I get it. I get it. I get where <sighs> I wasn't alive then. What? No. No. Wait. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more uh, exposition, if you don't mind, on the whole gods were born thing. What are we... What? What are we talking about here? The details. Also chose the north. The details of my creation is meaningless for your struggle. Just know that you are reliving an ancient battle. But you have the chance to end the cycle. How many times has this battle been fought? The Ice Queen in the north? Dozens? No, just... Oh, okay. How many times did we win? This is the first time the humans are fighting this fight. So is the Ice Queen of the gods before. As I said, the old gods did not favor humanity. The Ice Queen, like the gnomes, like the dwarves, were made by the gods. And thus, certain gods fought on the side of the Ice Queen, and certain gods fought on the side of the mortals. But we were just livestock to them. You were accidents. That is... That's something no one ever wants to hear from a parental thing. <laughs> a happy little surprise. But that is why you are so important right now. This mortal realm is, is for the humans. You fought for it. You died for it. You carved it out of the existence of the universe for yourselves. And now, the alignment was broken. You have to fight for it again. This time, the new gods do not have the, the omnipotence of the old gods, and we cannot seal away that which has been unleashed. You must fight it yourselves. And I have given you the tools to best even the Ice Queen herself. Well, if y'all aren't going to step up, then it's going to be You better damn well believe that I am not going to hand over everything that my people fought for, that, like you said, carved out of this little corner of reality for ourselves. I'm not going to hand it over to some cold hearted bitch. You may not know who wins this. I'll tell you right now. We ain't losing it. And I have chosen well. The old gods concern themselves. Good and evil. Law and order. That were always in opposition. We new gods have a different approach. We're... This new world is fledgling, and it will take some time to iron everything out. But first, 
Mortals must win it back. I, I can tell all right. you are confused, but it may comfort you to know that uh, the future isn't written. Uh, and this is this is it this is where we're this is where we're fighting it this is where we're winning it here in the north this is this is this is the fight i have invested myself into you are the warrior i've invested myself into the five realms of the mortal plane as you call them North, south, east, west, and the middle. Each one has its own god. One of the new gods. And they, like I, have champions. And, and they're all fighting? One way or another. Are, are they all facing imminent forever winter? Because, I mean, if you could, like, reach out to them and have them, that, that'd be great. You I kind mean, of have be... to reach out to them. Re reach out to them and, and have them send their champions up this way till we deal with this. I mean, that, that, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. I mean, we can, we can use the help. Giving you all the help I can. But you are right. The North faces, at this present time, the greatest challenge. But if you can win, you'll send a message that the mortal realm still belongs to the mortals. I mean, I guess we're going to have to fuck up some snow goblins. I don't think that'll be a problem for you. You, you want to go grab a beer? Like, I've never asked you that. Like, we, we've, had, we've had these little conversations before. I mean, it's on me. I, I, I don't know if you heard, but I, I kind of got some pull around here now. Someday... You and I shall sit at the same table. That's ominous as all shit. Well, we gods have a way with words. Mm-hmm. 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 No, but for real, like, is this, is that your shield? Like, you said I had your shield, is that it? Because you don't have it anymore. I just want to make sure I got the right one. <laughs> you have my shield. And and my bow. And and you also have the hope of the north. Oh, that's you 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 killed it, man. Like that was the shield thing was cool and now you got to like just Well, God damn it, Vegas. He he just kind of grins and he says I think you can handle it. And then the fires from the bonfire roar into this massive jet. And then when they subside, he's gone. I mean, all right, Coulter, but you're going to owe me a beer this time. <sighs> okay. I, I grab my shit and go. Okay. Hakan, you said you had something uh, for Hakan to do? Yeah, actually. Uh... I know it's not the most urgent thing right now, but he still wants to start looking into it. He does not expect uh, the Fjell folk to have any anything about that, but he's going to start. Uh, he's going to go to the Fjell folk camp and see... Well, not see, he would know. How <laughs> to do Fjell folks, aside from um, passing on tradition via, like, you know, just voice and teaching, like oral tradition, oral essentially. Yeah. Uh, how, how do they transfer lore? 
Oral, oral tradition. Oral transition. Yeah. Okay. Do we have some sort of? Because I know we're mostly all warriors, but do we have some sort of shaman or like religious or lore person, like a specific role within the tribe? Yes, there are like uh, the equivalent of like cunning men and women, cunning folk. Um, some even have magic, but uh, you don't have a religious foundation. I believe I've already explained, but I'm happy to explain again. Yeah. The fjell folk theology is we are born of two different people who worship two different sets of gods, but we're really good at fighting, so we'll just fight until we die and hope that whatever god is real will think that's worthy and take us on. Yeah. So they don't actually practice any form of religion. They just try to fight with honor and die in no, battle. But that's why your entire race is filled with horrible badasses that everyone is afraid of. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll go see uh, pre pretty much one at a time until I find one. Or if I don't find none, that's, uh, those lore people, essentially, those magic users, and talk to them about how could one undo a curse. Hmm. Roll investigation. Ah, uh, my sheet's not open. That's why I can't find it. That makes sense. Sixteen. Okay. You eventually find a shaman um, who has a, has a suite of available options for removing curses. Okay. It, it, she does explain that, you know, certain curses are unique, and thus to remove them is unique. It depends on what kind of curse. Uh, given that she's a fjell folk, I will uh, tell her that this must stay strictly between her... Okay. And I will explain to her the situation when I went to the Fey and then made a deal with what seemed to be a sorceress, and explained that I hate magic at the same time, where she seemed to have taken a piece of me, and I, like, I'll show the missing tooth, and say, if I don't do what she ordered me to do, then she says she will take my strength. And I have strong suspicions that she will be able to, after what I've seen other people do. According to this shaman's knowledge... There are two ways that you can be free of this curse. You can kill her. The one who put it on you. Yep. Or you can get your tooth back. Well, she ate it, so that's kind of a problem. That's internal, by the way. Um... And when you say that she ate it, the shaman then starts to think. And then she says, again, she says, well, this may be difficult since your encounter was in another world, but yes, if you ate a piece of her, that would probably break the curse. Not that way, Aku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I glad mean... you're muted. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I said Vegas made the face too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you two made a different phase than I did, because, ugh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Akon, Akon will consider this as an option, although not a very likely option. Like, between the two, he would rather... And um, he wants to know as well if there are any ways to know if there are ramifications to this curse. As far as he knows, he gave a word of honor to the, the witch, and she gave a word of honor back, so he doesn't expect any more repercussions beyond uh, what she said she would do, as long as he did what he was asked. But is there a way to detect if there's any, like, you know, extra side effects or unforeseen consequences to this? Or is that something beyond the skills of the field? She says, it, it doesn't sound like you are cursed. 
However, you have been placed under a magical oath, which is similar to a curse. And if you, it's a magical oath, then you should be you should be held to the wording of the oath. Whatever that she doesn't know what it was. Obviously, she wasn't there. But yep. there, there wouldn't be anything tacked on that you didn't yourself hear. Okay, so I do not have to expect like mind control and whatnot. Right. Perfect. It, the if-then statement is quite specific in this case. Okay. Well, as far as our knowledge go, I might be surprised down the line, but we'll see about that later. Right. Um. Uh, well, I'll thank her for that. And uh, as the leader of the Great Mact, I thank her for her services and thank her for her keeping this between her and me. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to break. Yep. However, I'm going to say this now. If, if PR isn't back by the time we're ready to go live, we're going to call it a session. Uh, we, I, I mean, we've been getting stuff done and it's been, we've been progressing. But there has been a bit of us trying to spin our wheels because I don't yep. want to. I don't want to press the story onward without the full group here. Yeah. And also, I'm kind of myself. Everything I had planned, we just burned through in two hours. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do next anyway. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll be back roughly. Well, we'll we'll give we'll give PR some time. No later yeah. than twenty after. And if he's uh, still a wall, then we're gonna call it a night. So um, hopefully we got another hour and 40 of Dire Roll and Frost. Otherwise, we will let you know if we're canceled. Regardless, though, thanks for tuning in. And I just realized I haven't had chat open. Uh, uh, yeah, so so, uh, yeah, a lot of chatter. I, I didn't have my chat open. Hi. Hi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, hopefully we'll be back. Otherwise, uh, stick around and enjoy some tunes from Pretzel. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, as you can as you can tell from the broken frames here, uh, PR uh, did not make it back. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we assume he just has some internet problems. Um, so we we're not going to worry until tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I mean it. it looked like internet issues so we have no reason to think otherwise but obviously he's near and dear to us so um we'll be back next week with the whole cast and hopefully we won't have uh crippling technical issues that time so thanks everyone who stuck around waiting um i'm sorry we're ending early and i hope you guys enjoyed the two hours we gave you and we will be back next week uh with more of this so everyone have a good night and we will see you then <laughs>